So much has changed in our city over the past 10 years. Uh, can you help and explain a little bit how the plan has evolved since 2001? I am gonna rely on Melissa for a little bit of this answer as well. Uh, it's kind of the oversight with the secondary plan. So maybe I'll explain first of all our roles in creating this wonderful document as Derek has uh, so nicely introduced for us. Alyssa was the lead on the secondary plan and policy framework, and I helped her along with the implementing zoning. So any kind of technical questions, I can get down into the nitty gritty, but Alyssa might be better off to answer the first question about what has happened since 2001. Thanks, Shannon. Um, so obviously you guys have seen a lot of change uh, in Hamilton since 2001. Um, back in 2001, we did not contemplate the type of development that we're seeing today. Uh, the plan that was approved back then was really trying to address sort of a low to mid-rise development form. Um, since that time, we've seen a lot of revitalization, uh, the James Street North Arts District. Um, we've seen a lot of investment in our downtown. We've had development pressures for taller buildings that we never contemplated back in 2001. Um, as well, we have had um, uh, a lot of neighborhood association and uh, residents that have voiced their concerns about how the downtown was changing and how those were uh, the changes were impacting their neighborhoods. So we wanted to make sure that um, through the secondary plan review that we really provided um, a plan and an update that addressed all those concerns that was up to date, um, that addressed the current trends in built form for taller buildings, um, as well as a plan that really focused on the public realm. So we were thinking, you know, we want development in downtown but not at any cost. And we want to make sure that the things that make Hamilton great, like the public spaces, um, the streets, the, um, uh, all the arts venues and culture, the opportunities for um, gathering, those spaces were protected. So we want to ensure that, you know, as we do see development, we also protect for that public realm and that people have access to sunlight, um, sky views and privacy and, and other things like that. Um, what wasn't contemplated in 2001 was downtown is now our urban growth center, so we it is uh, to accommodate the highest densities of population and economic growth. We also um, didn't contemplate the higher orbit transit that we're, we're looking at now. So really, is how do we uh, plan for those station areas in our downtown? Um, how do we make uh, attractive, vibrant uh, public spaces for people? And these are the things that we all try to address, as well as health, um, health of the downtown, and the way we plan for public spaces. Climate change is something else that we hadn't uh, addressed back in 2001. So all those things sort of factored in had, into how we evolved into the policies um, of the updated secondary plan. Anybody else want to 